Hey guys, how's it going? Today we're looking at this popular game, which I guess you all seen ads for. The original game here is called Mob Control. If we take a look at their actual numbers, going to this website called Sensor Tower, and I see their downloads and revenue. So we see here they made like 900k last month, which is crazy. So what we're going to do today is actually build this with AI. Alright, so we're here uh, and let's just give it a simple description. Uh, so let's start with build me uh, map control clone. Oh, let's get rid of that game and let's hit. As we can see here is generating the code, the views that we need for the game. I don't really understand what's happening in the back scenes, but I think it will work. So let's give it some time and fast forward this video. All right, so here we have the code. This should be a pretty simple implementation actually, and we can follow up on this later. So let's just hit the export to Xcode button. So what's that going to do is it's going to export the whole thing uh, as an Xcode project and all we got to do is open it. So we're going to do just that. Let's open up the zip file. You just hit the Xcode project file that will open up Xcode. Uh, and yeah, if you don't have Xcode, make sure to sign up for an Apple developer account and download it. So in here, just click trust and open. here's our project let's go to the content view file that should hopefully have a preview of what our game is going to look like so as we can see it failed to build it so we're just going to click on the arrows here and see all of these errors popping up uh that's not unusual sometimes when the ai generates stuff it does this so there's an easy way how to handle all of this you just hold shift and it selects all of this do a right click and hit copy paste all of that into our chat here hit the arrow button it's gonna fix our issues for us so let's wait for a little bit until it does that all right so the ai has finished doing its thing it's added some notes for us so it completed the files which were having errors and added all of the missing methods so let's just copy since the only changes that i see here are on the game models.swift file we can just go ahead and copy this file we're gonna go over to xcode and then let's go to game models select all let's delete this and let's paste in the new code so let's go back to content view button to play the game and menu on how to play and hopefully this loads up now without any errors nice as you can see, the game is showing now. We have a let's try and play the game. So it seems like it has a few levels. Let's go with level one. Okay, what's it doing here? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it seems like we created the 2D implementation of the game. Um, am I supposed to like, okay. What happens if I stop? Yeah, obviously this ain't perfect, this isn't like the original game. Let's try and make the 3D game. Uh, let's actually prompt that. Alright guys, so I went ahead and actually created an additional project. So this is the prompt I used and yeah, it, it made it. It's a perfectly working example. Although I, I would say that it would need a lot more changes for it to actually be in a publishable state and we can continue that in the next video or we can take a look at on how we can actually publish the game so uh, what does the game do pull up xcode and see how everything is set up so we got the scene with the floor obstacles and the finish area so here's all of that here's the floor the obstacles uh, the player is marked in red and the followers are in blue the lead character is controlled by tapping so yeah if i tap here as you can see, the blue spheres will follow the character. Collision detection that removes followers when they hit obstacles. So let me test that out. Um, so I'm gonna go in one of the obstacles here. Oh, yeah. 
as you see, we lost two of our followers. So yeah, we have collision detection for followers. Simple UI that's showing follower count and restart button when finished. Yeah, we got the follower count. And let's see if it actually does the restart. Okay, I'm assuming it does that when you actually finish the game, but seems like there's no way for the camera to move forward. Seemingly there is a finish area here. We would need animations for the character here. We would need the camera to actually follow the character. Why don't we do that before we end the video? All right, so hopefully that works without any issues. All right, so it seems like it updated the game view model that Swift created an update camera method that will smoothly follow the leader. Why don't we go ahead and copy the changes here? Let's head over to Xcode. Let's go into the game view model. Control A to select all and then Control V to paste the new code. So let's go over to the content view and the preview should be loading up the new UI here. Let's see. Nice. <laughs> yeah, as you can see, we can now see the finish area actually. Let's head into a collision. Yeah, we still got one follower. And whoop, yep, that's the finish line. We earned the level. You can hit play again and that restarts the level. This is nice. This feels more much like an actual working prototype. Seems like it needs some updates to the frame rate, but otherwise it's it technically works, right? All right, so thank you for watching. See you all in the next video and comment down below if you think we should see how to publish this game or take it even further. Thanks, bye bye.